Hello friends, in this video I'm going to do one question that, uh, that I got from the website of Study It, which is a very wonderful uh, website where you can go and pose your question. I got this from there. So the question is like this, Tamati has a temperature controlled room for his tomatoes, the temperature T in degree centigrade inside his inside his tomato, okay, I have changed to tomatoes from orchids, uh, uh, inside his tomato room can be modeled by this equation, okay, uh, which is T, stands for temperature 23 minus sine bracket 2 pi T over 12, where T is the time in hours after midnight. How long is the temperature above? 23 degree on a 24 hour day. So whenever you have an equation, so let me write the equation which is T is equal to 23 minus 24 times 2 pi T over 12. So you can simplify the bracket a little. So T is 23 times, sorry, it's not 24, why did I write 24 there? Uh, I have to use a smaller eraser, so let me write it again. T is 23 minus sine of 2 pi T over 12. Simplifying the bracket, so that is 23 minus sine of pi T by 6. Okay, so this is pretty easy. Now, pi, you should understand, is in radians. Whenever you have pi in trigonometry or in calculus, it's always in radians. So it's pi radians. Now, this is, I'm not going to explain, pi radians is 180 degrees. Okay, so this is a relation between radians and degrees. One full circle or two pi radians or two pi rads is 360 degrees. Okay, now they have given in degrees so they have given in radians, I will change this into degrees because we tend to think in degrees more, okay? So I can write T in temperature is 23. Now pi by 6 is 180 by 6, which is sine 30 T. So now this is in degrees. Now, whenever you have a trig equation like this, you have to decide first uh, the amplitude, okay? so. Okay, now I'll not go into much detail. So, a sine graph, okay, let me draw a sine graph to explain. Suppose this is how uh, this is your y axis, this is your x axis. Okay, so this is your y and this is your x. Now, a sine graph looks like this. So, let me draw the maximum and minimum. So, this is your maximum. And this is your minimum. So this is called maximum. And this is called minimum. A, the graph of y is equal, I'll show you the graph of y is equal to sine x. Now all other sine graphs are transformation of this basic graph. So sine x, or the graph of sine x, has a period of, has a cycle of 360 degrees. So what do I mean? So this is a 90, 180, 270, and 360. So this is 360 degree. This is 270. This is 180, and this is 90. Now, the sine graph starts at zero. So this is your maximum, which is one, and your minimum is negative one. So sine starts at zero. It reaches the maximum at 90. Hits the this is called the baseline. I'll write BL for baseline. So it hits the baseline, reaches the minimum, and comes back to the baseline. It starts at baseline, hits the maximum at 90. So this is, let me use a different color. So let me use a royal color. So this is your sine graph. Uh, I could have drawn better. So this is your sine graph. Okay, so this is what I mean. So this is a sine graph. So all other sine graphs, so this is also a transformation of this. Now by looking at this, 
I can say this is this is my baseline. This is my 23 is the baseline. The amplitude, this is your amplitude. Okay, let us not look at the negative. So your amplitude is 1. So here the amplitude is 1. Okay, and here the baseline is 0. Okay, now for period or cycle, period you have to use this formula. It is 360 divided by the coefficient of t. So period is 360 divided by 30, which is 12. So this, uh, this, uh, re, uh, sorry, uh, trig equation has a period of 12 hours. So t is in hours. So period is 12 hours. Okay. So let us draw the graph. Okay. So the graph would look like this. So this is, uh, this is, let me delete this. So let me use a bigger, I had first, uh, I've drawn, done, done the solution and now I'm going to I'm making a video on this same. So let me draw the x and my y axis. So this is your y axis and this is your x axis. Now this is not drawn to scale. So this is your minimum and this is your maximum. And this is your baseline. Just like that. So I'll say this is, let me use a different color. So this is your maximum, this is your baseline, and this is your minimum. Okay, now <coughs> maximum is baseline plus, baseline plus, one. maximum is baseline plus amplitude. So 23 plus 1, so this is your maximum 24 degrees. And your minimum is baseline minus amplitude. So amplitude is 1. So base, your minimum is 22 degrees. And this is your baseline 23 degrees. Okay, now you've got a period. So this is your T. This is the temperature T on Y axis. And this is T time. This is small T time. Time after, what does it say? Time after, after midnight. Okay, so T is this t on, on x axis you've got this time after midnight so it's always good to draw that so this is t temperature in degrees centigrade okay so this is i'm drawing only one cycle of 12 hours so this is 6 12 this is 18 and oh i've got a cycle of uh, suppose, sorry, I'll use a smaller eraser. So we have a cycle of 12 hours. So, so this is a 12, this is 6, this is 3, 9. Okay, now this is a, my, a, a negative sine graph. So sine always starts at your baseline. So let me use a different color. Your yeah, blue would do. So st sine starts at your baseline. As it's minus sign, instead of going to maximum, it'll go to minimum. It's very easy to remember. So it's a negative sign graph. So from max baseline, it'll go to the minimum. Then it'll hit the baseline. Then maximum here. Yeah, and then the baseline. Okay, so let me make it as colorful as possible. So let me use say, this color, this green. So this is your sign graph. Okay, so this is your sine graph. Okay, it's not drawn exactly to scale. So the question is, how long is, how long is the temperature above 23.4 in 24 hours a day? Okay, so we'll first find for 12 hours and then times it by 2. That will be the answer. So, 23.4, uh, the question is, this is 23 degrees. So 23.4 may sub, say, this is 23.4 year, and uh, as it is symmetrical, 23.4 will come here. So this, these two points are symmetrical over, over this uh, value of t, which is 9. So this is symmetrical. So this is a t1, and this is my t2. 
Now, as a user, uh, you can use a calculator. You can do without the calculator, but I think as you allowed a calculator, why not use it? Okay, so I'm going to show you how to draw this and check this on a calculator. So we're re uh, really neat. So let me type the equation. So first thing that I'll do is I'll change my setting to degrees because we are going to work in degrees. So it is degrees first, and then what was my equation? Okay, let me move my calculator. So the equation was this, yeah. So let me bring the calculator up. So the equation was uh, menu, go to graph, and then type in 23. Uh, was that right? Yeah, 23, yeah, that's right. So 23 minus sine of 30, 30x, just like that. I'll do some setting uh, change in settings. I'll go, so first execute, and then we'll press shift to V window. Oh, what did I do? Shift V window. I want to scale from 0 to, say, 24. Okay, and there's a scale of 3. And I want to go from, say, 20 to 25. Scale of, say, 2 would do and then draw it. So this is a graph. This is a two cycles that I told you. My question is, we want to find what is T1, T1 and T2. So you go G solve, and then you press X calc, and I'll press in 23.4 year. That is 6.8 hours. Okay, in one DP to 6.8. So this is, we'll remember this is 6.8, and if you press G solve, this is 11.2. So your T1 is 6.8 and your T2 is 11.2. So let us remember that. So we can say now T1 is 6.8 hours after midnight and T2 is 11.2 hours after midnight. So the time difference, so in 12 hours, in 12 hours, you will have 11.2 minus 6.8, which is 4.4 hours. Okay, therefore, am I right? So let me check it. It's always good to check. Menu, run 11.2, oh, 11.2 minus 6.8, 4.4, that's right. So therefore, our final answer is, therefore, in 24 hours, Double of this is 8.8 .8 hours temperature <laughs> remains above 23.4 degrees. See you in the next video.